All right, so as we are answering the question, what is proportional? We are reviewing things from the past. Um, and we're looking at the question, is it proportional? We're looking for a yes or no from a table graph or equation. And as I watched our vocabulary video, I noted x, y tables are a way to check. And what he's showing is x in their example for the clown is ours. What's the Y? The amount of money he's making. There's something that's happening in the middle. The hours are being multiplied by amount that gives this. And it's the same amount every time because it's proportional. So that means that I can take the Y and I can divide the Y by the X. And if it's the same number every time, then yes, it's proportional. Just for some future notes for ourselves, I want you to think about the X as input and the Y as output. He puts into this table the amount of hours he worked, multiplies it by how much he charges, and the output is how much money he's going to make at that party. The graph, I love the graphs. I think that they're the easiest one to read because you don't have to do any calculating. There's two criteria to find out if it's proportional from a graph. One, is it a straight line? then it might be proportional. Two, does it go through the origin? The origin being zero, zero. If you can say yes to both of these things, or you can check them both off, it's proportional. If you have a straight line that starts somewhere else on the graph, it's not proportional. It's called linear, and we'll do a lot with linear graphs later this year. <clears throat> but if it, it's a straight line and it goes through the origin, it has to have both of these, then it is proportional. Who caught what the equation is? Y equals KX. This K is the constant of proportionality. It's what's being multiplied by the X. Look back at the table. X, the hours times the $10 he's charging, is the total. K times X the proportion of constant proportionality times the x equals y. We just write it in reverse order because we're looking at the outcome first. There's an equation related to this that we worked with last year as well. I'm just going to add this to my notes for your information. It's y equals mx plus b who remembers seeing this equation before. Yeah. In this case, the plus b is plus zero because it's related to the origin. We just call this y equals kx because the k is the constant. I don't know why k and not c, but they both have that hard sound, right, constant. X is our input, Y is our output. Zero is the origin. And then finally, the constant of proportionality. I didn't use words really. I just wrote Y divided by X equals K. And that the K is the constant of proportionality.
this equation and this equation are basically the same thing. This one is showing what happens at the top of this table. I multiply something times the x and I get the y. This is doing the reverse. I'm taking what the y is, dividing it by the x to find out what the k is.